OK, I'll go ahead and get started. So we have the absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an absolute value symbol. We need to get rid of it to solve. So we need to go back and kind of remember that the absolute value has two cases, when the quantity is positive and when the quantity is negative. So to get rid of the absolute value to solve, what we're going to do is we're going to create two cases. And our two cases are going to be one case when inside of this is a positive 5 and when inside this quantity is going to be a negative 5. Does that make sense? If we can solve for the value that makes this positive 5, it's going to equal 5. If we can solve for the value that's going to make this negative 5, the absolute value is still going to equal 5. Does that everybody agree? So what we do is we create two cases. We say 2x minus 1 equals 5 and 2x minus 1 equals negative 5. So we basically, all you're simply doing is, one, rewriting the equation with no absolute value. Then you rewrite it with no absolute value. And then you negate the other side, which means makes it negative. All right? And now we just get to the fun stuff where we just solve. So you add 1, add 1. 2x equals 6. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 3. Add 1, add 1. 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals negative 2. I'm solving pretty quickly because hopefully um, that's not an issue. So now we need to kind of discuss a little bit. Um, because with absolute value, if you guys remember, when we did linear equations, I didn't really spend time checking our answer, right? We didn't go back and check our answers. That's in algebra 1, we go back and we check our answers, make sure that the solution works. And it's definitely something you guys can do. But for time purposes, I mean, it's a review. We didn't want to go back and check every single solution. However, for absolute value, it's become very, very important. Because when you have, our, when you have these two solutions, you have a possibility of extraneous solutions, meaning a solution that actually doesn't work. So you're going to want to make sure, and you take your answers and always plug them back into your equation just to make sure that they work. So if I plug in a 3, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Absolute value 5 is 5. Negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Works. Got it? 